tonight from Las Vegas, Nevada. Super Bowl 58. Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Indianapolis Colts taking on the champions from the NFC, the Carolina Panthers. Brandon Gordon along with Charles Davis. Well, CD, what a turnaround for this Colts team. Of course, back in the Peyton Manning days, they were always near the top of the AFC fighting to get to the Super Bowl. Well, now they're back for their first Super Bowl appearance since the 2006 season. And you're right about this franchise. Division championships galore, but they sure would like to add to their trophy case with another Lombardi trophy. And they've only won it twice, Super Bowl 41 and Super Bowl 5 mixed in with a tough loss against New Orleans when they went for another one. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, it's their third ever Super Bowl appearance in franchise history and looking for that first ever Lombardi Trophy. They played the Broncos tight in their last appearance, ultimately lost 24 to 10 in Santa Clara in Super Bowl 50. And prior to that, fell to the Patriots and Tom Brady in Houston. Super Bowl 38, a field goal late in the game, Gallup. They want to set the pace in this one and get their first NFL championship. The 2023 season has one game left. Here we go. Super Bowl 58 underway from Vegas. Taken at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback. And as we know and as we've discussed here in the run-up to this game, this is history in the making. The first rookie quarterback to ever start in a Super Bowl. An absolutely tremendous accomplishment, something no one else has done. But he doesn't want to just go down as the first to make a Super Bowl. He's told us all week he's here to win it. Second and 10. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Back to throw. Green. That is caught. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude. And you know, I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? But maybe the better question, CD, what do you think are the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon, and he had to, and he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed and he saw that his team was good, if he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. Reach out to other coaches who have been there before. Find out how they handled winning, losing, handling all the ticket situations, travel, practice, all those things. And then trust your gut, make your best decision, and put it all out there and give your team their best chance to win. High throw, but the catch is made. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 26. That's good for 28 yards. On some of these plays, you know what they're really a product of? 
really good scouting. <laughs> Big, tall receiver, play to his strengths, put the ball up there, and let him take it on a fade. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 26-yard line. In motion left, that's Thielen. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. here, second and 11. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he stopped immediately there. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Now Green to throw on third down. Setting up the screen here. This is Walker. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 15-yard line. The third down conversion is successful. Give him 12 yards that time. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. And here's Green throwing on first down to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Here's second and ten. Running right, here's Walker. And now they're inside the ten as he's brought down at the nine. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Looking to throw. Green. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Oh, this is a great decision right here. Out of the pocket to his left. And he knows if he waits too long, the defense is going to be all over it. So he makes a decision to go and wins the race to the pylon. Pinheiro now for the extra point. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7 to nothing lead. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go and they kick this one away. To return it, Darius Phillips. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So now the Colts will get their first opportunity with a football. Leading them out, still one of the most recognizable QBs in the game and one of the most fun QBs in his fifth season is Gardner Minshew. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played, and his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, giving 14. As soon as he caught that toss and looked upfield, you could tell they had a big numbers advantage blocking-wise. They certainly did, which means oftentimes your safety will be unblocked. That means he's got to play it from what they call inside out. Don't let the running back cut back across your face. Keep him pinned to the sideline and go make the tackle. Throwing on first down is Minshew. 
Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. There's your co-NFL record holder, T.J. Watt, doing what he does best, terrorizing quarterbacks. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Here's Minshew. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. You know it was tough for them to stand on the sidelines and watch the other team take it downfield and score, wasn't it? So they knew when they got on the field, it's on them. Pick up first downs, get downfield and score. How about them picking up that third and short? I was just going to say, you and I were talking before the game, those third down conversions are going to be huge in this one. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Off play action, it's Minshew. That's caught, it's Josh Downs. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. And this is exactly the kind of drive you're hoping for out of the gates. They're mixing the run and the pass well, keeping this defense off balance early. And they're on the march here with another first down. Minshew, first and 10. A short one there, caught by Granson. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Second down and eight. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Good work by Minshew there to pick up the first. Well, that's a nice job right there. He's looking downfield, but with no one open, he takes off and tries to run for it. He gets to the sidelines and gets out of bounds with a first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now Minshew. He'll drop this down to Taylor. And the Colts to looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Taylor is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as they'll tackle him at the three. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Minshew sets to throw. Now he's got it. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 7 0 is our score. The NFL on EA Sports continues right after this message.
They'll look to run with Taylor. And yeah, boy, a good surge defensively. It'll depend on the mark, but I'm not sure he got there. Only a yard that time, so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. Well, let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? Your two-point conversion plays, because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more like six or seven. Which one do you like here? Because that's essentially what you're going for right now. That spot of the field, call one of those and go get six. Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. From the left hash, you'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And Gay knocks this one through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. And I know the players hate it and the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. Now Raheem Blackshear going to take this one out. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Panthers about ready to take over. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Then confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 34. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just help receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Back to throw. Green. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. A nice chunk play from the tight end position, and it illustrates the cohesiveness that he and his quarterback have. Both saw the extra defender doubling him up, and they still combined for the completion and big game. Walker now on first and 10. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Two minutes gone by second quarter. To throw is green. To throw on second down. And they'll get this one to about the 20 yard line. A good-looking drive so far for the Panthers and a first down here. There it is, a staple of most teams' playbooks, the angle route. A lot of times you want to take away that inside route by a back, but when they sell it like he's going to the flat, that is tough on inside linebackers. One false step, and that ball's completed. Drain now on first and 10. That one complete. He finds Shark. And the Panthers... They're going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. From the gun, it's Walker. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Ken Walker, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. But finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So the drive there took six plays. And it was Ken Walker finishing things off with a touchdown run. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. Phillips now from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. 
Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. This to the sideline and over everybody. Incomplete. No flags forthcoming, though. Maybe a break there. That looked like a clear throwaway to me. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, Minshew to throw. A short one there, caught by Granson. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up fourth down. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. It'll be a net of 39, 41-yard punt, two on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Kenneth Walker headed back out there. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Green looking to throw on second down. And Walker has it. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Green on first down. And he'll even avoid the contact in the end as he will finally slide to a hole. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent game. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Looking to throw. Green. He finds his man complete. It's Walker. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a yard. Up the middle they run. It's Walker. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stump that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. The offense on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This time they face a third and two. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Panthers are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that can be attributed to their success on third downs. This is another conversion here, and they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Back to throw. Green. And it's caught. Touchdown, Panthers. Jamar Chase 
from six yards away. And the Panthers are feeling good as they extend their lead in the Super Bowl. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was Jamar Chase who finished it off with a touchdown reception. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Phillips now from the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Understandably, pass rushers keyed up for this Super Bowl, but you can't do that. And let's face it, no one wants to lose one of these quarterbacks early in this game, so you know they're going to be protected by the officials. Minshew's throw into the hands of Pittman here. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. There's a quick shot to his tight end. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. It'll be Minshew again. The toss here completed to Pittman. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. A first and 10 here. And, you know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. Gay's kick is good. And that'll get the deficit down to 15. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. 
as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It was a strong first half for the former Spartan, Kenneth Walker. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, Coach, thank you very much. As we welcome you back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. And the Colts going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. And right now, their chances of hoisting that Lombardi trophy not looking too great, but perhaps that long halftime, maybe it did them a world of good. But if there's ever a chance to regroup, it's in this game, right? Because you do have that long halftime, a chance to really assess things and maybe make some changes and true adjustments. They played great all year long. That was the worst first half of the season for them. They're hoping to put it behind them and come out punching here in the second half. Running left, Taylor. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give him a lot of confidence to help turn things around. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll look to throw here. This one completes Alec Pierce. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. They'll run on first down. Goodson. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Alec Pierce, 49 yards. And the Colts are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that'll cut the lead to 21-17. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, Maybe they need at least three here on this drive. 
I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. And for the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. That's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slant route, and I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way, it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. Drain down. Throwing on first down. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Ten more there and another first down. Back to throw. Green. And that is incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. They'll look to throw again. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. To throw on third down. Green. Throw left side on target to Thielen. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. So they decline the holding penalty and will take the down instead as that leads us to fourth. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And the lead now 11, 24 to 13. So three points a uh, response there to that opening touchdown of this third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also in letting the other guys know you're not going to just come out in the second half and take over. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Gardner Minshew leading the Colts out for their next series. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverages last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Now back to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Taylor. And he is going to lose yardage here. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Well, that play really didn't fool them. They completed the screen pass, but for lost yardage, a really nice play by the defense. Second down, Minshew had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. He'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Call that a very strong gain of 24. The goal for any offense versus his own defense Find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Screen, screen, screen. 
Now Minshew on first and 10. He's got Granson over the middle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Just need a yard here, second and one. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game, and that's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. They'll look to throw now on first down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And the Panthers are going to have it here just past the 25. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. Now Green throwing to start the drive. And Shark calls it in. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And there's just one quarter that remains in this edition of the biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, as we get set for the fourth quarter. Straight ahead, Walker. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Sticking with Walker on second down. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He'll get that one to Taylor complete. And he'll be taken down for a loss back at the three. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. On second down, it's Taylor. 
And he'll get this up past the five to the seven yard line. The Colts on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and ten. Back to throw here. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong. And now it's fourth down. On fourth down, Minshew. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. So instead of the incredibly obvious choice of trying to punt it out near midfield, now they left their defense with no margin for error. No, zero. And I don't care how much confidence you have in your defense. I don't care if you say, hey, I'm going to be aggressive because those guys can pick me up. You really put them in an impossible situation because at, at the least, you're giving up three in that situation, right? So I, I would have punted the ball out of there and, and given them a little bit of a cushion. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Looking to throw. Green. Touchdown! Adam Thielen. A five-yard touchdown. And the Panthers have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QB is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. The point up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Phillips now from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago starting to seem like a distant memory. And this one just has not gone as they had hoped. They'll try and start this drive in the air. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. T.J. Watt able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. They'll drop to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. T.J. Watt bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. And that's his third sack, and that ties the Super Bowl record. Makes me think of my old college teammate, Reggie White. He had three with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 31. Darnell Dockett of Arizona, Super Bowl 43. And Coney Ealy. Three sacks for the Panthers against Denver in Super Bowl 50. All those sacks, they've only been an official record since Super Bowl 17. I know it's believed that L.C. Greenwood unofficially had four way back in Super Bowl 10. Wearing those golden high tops as well. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. And Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to... And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Second down and three.
Sticking with Walker on second down. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Walker with another carry. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. 52 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one, you know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Up the middle, here's Walker. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. On second down, it's Walker. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Panthers first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hook up again on third down to keep this drive alive. Yeah, ready. Running left is Walker. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he gets it inside the 10 to the nine. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. That's it. It's all over. And the Carolina Panthers are your Super Bowl champions. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.